This is the 8th grade TCAT practice test. Um, question number 35. Henry is practicing for a swim meet and four of his practice results are shown. Which distance did Henry, for which distance did Henry swim the fastest? Now, they give us that black box again and it says distance equals rate times time. What we're looking for is uh, the rate that he swam because we want to know for which of the distances given, because they give you distance, and they also give you time. So what we're looking for is rate. So I'm going to take this formula and reorganize it a little bit to make rate by itself. To get rid of times t, I need to divide by t. So rate is really distance divided by time. So for each one of these uh, practice results, I'm going to do distance divided by time. So the first one would be 50 divided by 56. And then I'll do 100, 100 divided by 130. And then I'll do 200 divided by 184. And then I'll do 400 divided by 345. So my 50 divided by 56 thing gives me 0.89. And actually, I'm going to wipe that one out and change colors real fast. So uh, the ones I'm comparing are going to be the red ones. Then I do, t I'm going to do the 200 divided by 184 thing because it's just the way I wrote it. Uh, 1.09, 0.77, 1.17. Now I want to know which he swam the fastest. This would be the rate, so that would be uh, meters per second. So it looks like in the 400, Henry was going 1.17 meters per second, which would mean that uh, the answer to number 35 is D. So he went the fastest in this race, in the RNS practices, I guess. And the rest of them, he went a little bit slower. In fact, it, which seems a little bit strange, he'd think he'd preserve energy a little bit, but I guess he could, he has, you know, good lungs or whatever it is. So in this case, the 1.17 beats the rest because it's the fastest.